YouTube. I'm so excited for this haul video. Yes, this is a haul video and it's um it's kind of big, like in my opinion anyways. Um let's see. We had a scrapbook garage sale and yes, I bought everything I pretty much wanted cuz everything is such great price. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start, I'll save the, the big stuff for last. I bought three amazing things. So, anyways, this whole bag <coughs> is full of goodies that I got. I would say I spent between $40 and $50. I don't, I don't really know. So, I'm going to dump everything out here. Ah. It's crazy. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Okay. And here it begins, and I don't really have prices for everything, um, really. I mean, it says a dollar, so I try, what I like to do is I like to bundle things, and then I'll be like, make, make a different bit of an offer, but I love this down here, so maybe I paid a dollar, maybe I didn't. This is a dollar, and these are just cute little, um, cards, actually I haven't even looked at them. Ooh, these are really pretty. I'm so glad I got these. <gasps> okay, I'm in love with this one. And the backs are all the same. So, let me kind of just spread them out here. Hope you guys can kind of see those. These are probably Graphic 45 cards. So, let's say I paid a dollar. Um, these I did not pay 50 cents for. I don't think they're the little close to my heart, um finger daubers and they say 50 cents but I don't even think I paid that so great deal then I got these for 50 cents because um, I already have some and I like having backups because I swear there's always that one letter you need um, these say 1050 but it looks like I paid a dollar and I'm normally not into these girly these little girl stamps they've never been used and I don't know I thought it'd be fun to try for like a dollar um, so that was calling my name. And I could even do like a funny card like call me maybe because Brian and I always joke about that. So it was a dollar. Um, looks like these were a dollar and these are the Prima ones. Great deal. These are so cute. Um, I'm going to be doing my Prima doll stamps uh, for my design team project which I will be sharing with you guys as well. Um, looks like these were two dollars. Super pretty Prima flowers. I think I got this for two bucks. And it's teal and the color that it is is right there it's really pretty I don't know if it's showing up on camera really pretty I got some old-school Heidi swap so these are just like the Tim Holtz ones but they're 50 cents and um, who knows if I'll use them but I have an idea in my head um, of how I want to use these so um, and then it looks like I paid two dollars for these and I already have some of these but um, different ones and they're Maya Road, so there's all the shapes. Um, I don't know if I really paid two bucks for these paintbrushes, but they are close to my heart paintbrushes. And I really want some good paintbrushes because I, I'm dying to try that Dina Wakely canvas that I'm always talking about. So um, these brushes feel awesome. So like a dollar a piece, even if I did pay two dollars, these are these feel really nice and you know. Um, looks like I got these for a dollar. They're Prima. Um, I got two of these. <clears throat> One of these I got for um, my NSD bag. Um, we're doing, each person that's coming to our NSD party, National Scrapbook Day, um, is going to do, it's going to bring a gift basket worth 20 bucks. And I just thought these were cute. And they're my rose, they're polyurethane. Oh, those cute stamps. So I got one for me and one for my goodie bag. And then I got this um, Close to My Heart ink pad. I just really like this red. It's called Holiday Red. And I like that it was still in the package, so I know it's going to work great. And Close to My Heart has really nice ink colors, I feel. Then it says this is $2. It's Craft Glassine Tim Holtz paper. And it's brand new. And it says $12 on the back. And I got it for 2 maybe even less. So, I just thought that was kind of cool. I'm so excited for all this stuff. And then, again, I did not pay a dollar for this. But you can see, like, little stick pins in here. Um, 
I love these ones. I'm so excited. And then I got these maybe for two dollars, maybe well, maybe less. Again, they're my roads and they're all the clocks. So these are gonna be super fun to use. And they even have like the um the clock hands which keep falling, but they're in there. And then maybe <coughs> a dollar for this. It's Prima. I thought it was pretty. I feel like I, I want to venture back into doing uh, vintage projects because that's all I used to do and lately all I've been doing is bright stuff and I feel like I really like to be balanced and, and uh, you know, do everything. Um, this is a mask and it looks like $2. I love masks, you guys know that, and I wanted it for this one really. But that says $2, brand new, never been used. <clears throat> okay. I know this whole bag I got for $5. Um, and here it goes. So I got this stamp. I don't know. I just kind of liked it. Maybe for like a background subtle thing. I got this really old paid stamp. I mean, this thing is old. I love it. Um, I got these little wooden uh, craft sticks. I got this paper pad for 50 cents. It's a Christmas one. Wait till it focuses. If it will focus, there we go. And it's all glitter. That's why I got it because I love glitter. And there's such pretty bright colors in here. And for 50 cents, I just love the white even. Great deal. And then I have these say $8.99 from Ben Franklin. And they are the Zig Opaque Writer. Um, two of these are still in their package, so, two of these, these are still packaged up, and this one looks like it's been opened, so, but it looks like it may have never been used, so it's basically like a white Sharpie, and again, I want to do, like, I love mixed media, and I'm dying to do that canvas, so it's like, ah, throw it in. I got this little, um, date stamp, it's making in the memory, or, Memories in the making, and it's Christmas. I didn't even really look at it. So, some there's like a couple, there's like two or three that are cute on there. It's never been used though, and for the price I got it, which, you know, it's just like a bundle. Um, I got <clears throat> all these refills. It says 50 cents, but I got it cheaper than that. All these paper trimmer refills, which I totally needed. Um, I got this stamp. I like. I love this stamp, this Prima Doll stamp. Love it. Um, I got two mini misters. Love mini misters. Um, I got another bag of bling, of all pink bling. Um, I got this uh, Adirondack reinker in lettuce. I got more bling, darker pink. I got all these, um, darn it, I can't even remember what they're called, stamens for flowers, because I have a lot of I Am Roses, and I mean, there's a whole bunch of beautiful stamens in here, so I picked that up. Um, I got these cute little, um, stamps, little butterflies, I love this one, love that. Um, <coughs> I got these little, um, bullet point, uh, I don't know, blendy things. They're really for chalking, but I mean, you could use them for a number of things, but they've never been opened. Um, what the heck? Did I buy the same stamp? It looks like it's like the same stamp set. I'm not sure. It's really cute. And then I got, oh, I totally needed these for National Scrapbook Day for stuff that I'm making. They're just the, um, they're the, what are these even called? Um, it's like for when you make like a badge, it's the backing for it, and I need those. I got three packs of rub-ons, which I love this font, it's typewriter font. So I got three of those, and then, I'm like a stamp freak, you guys can see back here. These are, um, when I did my room tour video... It actually cut off at the it cut off at the end, and I had a bunch more stamps to show, but that's okay. I mean, my stamp collection. I'm sure a lot of you guys have me beat, but my stamp collection is pretty awesome. I love my stamps. 
I got these two stamps. I mean, this stuff was so cheap that I just couldn't pass it up. Um, this one says, to stamp or not to stamp, what a silly question. So that's just a very unique stamp, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then, one of my favorite um, stamps that I got today, actually, I got all the months. And it's just such a basic font, and none of these have even been used. So I'm not going to show all of them, but I got all those, and I got this cute stamp. It says hand stamped by, or yeah, it's hand stamped. And then I got this. It's got a B on it. I really got it for Brian. Um, maybe for his graduation invitations or something. Which I'm pretty sure Brian's um, graduating valedictorian of his uh, nursing class. So he's going to be an RN. I'm so proud of him. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I just love to brag every moment I get because he works so hard to be top of his class. So I am so proud of him. So I just thought I would share that because I'm so excited for him. I figured I'd share with you guys. And so, let's see, what else? I know I bought some other stuff. Um, hold on, you guys, I'm a little lost. Um, well, Evelyn bought this for me because I always say capture every moment. So she bought this today <coughs> for me at Michael's. I can't wait to put it up in my room, so that's one thing. Um, I bought a bunch of old Heidi Swap stamps. You know what? I might have left them out in my car. I bought a bunch, and I think Laura sent them to me. So if I have to look in my stash, so if she already sent these to me, I'm just going to add them to my NSD bag because I love Heidi Swap. I would love to win Heidi Swap. Okay, so let's see. I'll go ahead and show you guys the big stuff, and then I actually have another haul after that. So... One thing I told Evelyn that I was looking for at the garage shop, I really want a bind it all or a cinch. And what do you know, what did I find? I found a bind it all. I found a Zetter bind it all. I got this for $15. Um, she had it <coughs> marked 20 and she's like, oh, I'll take 15 And um, I just looked this up on Amazon. The bag alone is $30. The machine alone with shipping is like $60 to $70. And then this kit is about 30 bucks online. Um, so I got it all for 15 so I just could not pass it up. So here's what's in this little kit. And I love, ah, I just dropped everything out. Smooth move. Uh-oh. Okay, I, I think I dropped some other stuff out, but you guys will kind of get to see. So anyways, it came with everything. And it's pink. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have any uh, binding with it, but that's okay. I'll just buy some, but for $15, and this was like the only cinch or bind it all that I saw, so I'm glad I got it. Okay, next, I got this. I'm so excited. Where it's going is uh, unknown, but I could not pass it up for $6. Normally mark 7 Are you guys ready? Here it is. Ooh. Here it is. So... There's, it's a little bit dusty, which I don't care about. You know, I'll clean it. I'll clean it off. Anything I buy used, I <coughs> wipe down anyways good thoroughly. So, there's one, two, three, four slots. So, I just thought that was really cool. And, you know, something w with a thicker width than that will fit, you know. Um, so, pretty much that paper pad right there. So, like, four by six-ish. And there's still actually half an inch left in there ish maybe a little bit less but the, I she had that mark seven and I she took six and then the next thing is the best thing of all that I found at the garage sale I am so excited um <laughs> here goes all right this thing is heavy so give me a minute oh so she had it marked $12, which was amazing. And she took 10 because I offered her 10 I was like, well, you take 10 You take 10 it's sold. All right, here it is, you guys. Ugh, sorry, it's really heavy. Here it is. It's the Jet Max Storage Cube. It's another one. And it has four drawers. And these drawers are super duper deep. Look at that. 
you can fit a ton of stuff in here. So I might even be transferring some stamps in here. I really have no idea. But I just like that a lot of my stamps will be able to stand up in here. Like my, um, my normal size stamps. So I got that for $10. I couldn't believe it. I'm so excited. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. But, uh... I'll find somewhere because I really wanted it. <laughs> okay, so next I have a haul from Winsadoodle. So, uh, I hope this video is not too long. We're at 15 minutes. It's kind of long. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so last night at Winsadoodle, I actually only spent like two or three dollars. It was really good. And I also got my next design team project. So, I'll share that with you guys first. So, my next design team project is with these, um, Prima Doll stamps that I requested. So these are the two that I picked, and I already own one of them. So um, Winston got all of them in. So exciting! So I picked up these two because I already have one. And maybe some of them, some of y'all are wondering what in the world do you do with those stamps? Well, here's a sample that I had made up a while back. So there's one Prima girl I made, and that's the other stamp that I have. So. Just kind of like a little, a little example. So I picked that up, and then um, for her, for their skin, I ended up since they were out of the tag pad, which would have been expensive anyways. I feel, I kind of feel guilty being on a design team because you get free stuff, and it's I don't know. It just makes me feel bad. Like I don't like to take advantage of people, so I feel like being on a design team kind of is taking. I don't know how I feel, but. I just try and pick, I don't know, I'm just mumbling now, but I ended up picking these two pieces of paper, and these are from New Prima Papers, and it's from the Fairy Collage, so here's the back, but anyways, I'm going to use this for their skin, use that for their skin, and then I picked up this Prima sheet because I want to cut it apart for the tags, then... They got all the new Simple Stories paper in, and I was really good. I only bought two sheets. That's it. I wanted more, but I was good. So this is the first sh the first sheet I picked up to cut this apart. And then the back, you guys are going to love the arrows. And this is Simple Stories, and it's called 24-7. So I picked that up, and I picked up this sheet. And the reason I picked up this sheet is because I love this corkboard noted. And then my friend Angie pointed out this one, so I had to get it. Keep calm and carry a camera. But, I mean, there's a lot of awesome ones on here. A lot of really cute ones. Do something amazing every day. That's super fun. So I got that. And then, last night at the crop, I actually won a prize. They give away awesome prizes. Um, so I won the collection pack, um, the classic Calico, Studio Calico paper. And I already have some of this, but I, man, I just, I have a thing for graph paper. And I feel like this, it even came with some, some letter stickers, some Studio Calico letter stickers. And this pack is, oh, it's just got a lot of graph paper in it. And I'm just obsessed with graph paper. So I picked that up. So I had a couple more items of the... Heidi Swap stamps, but they probably fell out in my car somewhere. Oh, and I also bought another sheet of Heidi Swap paper. Oh, before I forget, um, I did some work in my design team book, so if you guys want to see that. Okay, next, um, Evelyn made me this pink mat. I love it. It's like a big Tim Holtz mat, except you shouldn't heat things on it, but it's good for everything else. So I picked that up. It's great for spring, which is what I want it for. So next, I'm going to give you a little... No, you know what? I'm going to do this in another video because this video is already 20 minutes long. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul. And it was good seeing you, Ashley. It was so glad she came up to me and she's like, hey, I'm good. It was so funny. So I only got to talk to her for a second. But that was fun seeing her. So thanks for coming out and saying hi to me. And I hope you got lots of good stuff, which what I saw, she did find some good finds. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.